How to install the FSG Mod Assistant. First, you go to fsgmodding.com, click on Mod Assistant. In here, we have a copy of the README file. Uh, you may scroll through it and get you some good reads here. Uh, to download the latest version, the link is right here at the top. Click that, it'll take you to GitHub. In here, we want to select one of these exe files here. Um, this portable one, you can download it, but it will never update. You will have to manually update if you use that version. But it doesn't install, you can just open it on your desktop. Uh, the setup file will install an auto update, which is wonderful. So we'll go ahead and do this one. It's pretty, pretty quick download. Once downloaded, we'll go ahead and install it. Takes just a moment to load. Okay, so on a fresh install, we have no folders set up. So the first thing we wanna do is add our mods folder. So we'll click add folder. We'll go into our documents, my games, Farming Simulator 22 and then mods. Now I've already created a bunch of separate mods folders in within my mods folder. Uh, you can do this however you like. Um, click on, we'll go ahead and do my Green Mountain test here. Select folder. Now it'll scan all the mods within that folder and then display it here. And then you can drop it down and see what each mod is and you're good to go. And if you want to add another folder, you just click add folder, select your next mod folder. It'll scan each mod. Um, if you have a folder of mods that has a ton, a couple hundred to a thousand or however many mods you might have, this will take a while because it it opens each mod and reviews it and scans it and all that good stuff and it'll give you details on if there's issues with the mod and all that. We'll cover that in a later video. Um, but it'll take a, a long while and sometimes it may say that the window is not responding but don't worry you'll see the numbers climbing. Um, it's still working it's just when you have that many mods it takes it a little while but uh that's how you get it set up and get going and then um if you want to swap between the two you just select drop this down select which one you want set it active and then you can launch the game all right appreciate you guys watching and uh we'll have more coming soon